But anyways, welcome to your new review. Let's just jump right in, shall we? You know, someone must have slandered poor Roberto. For one morning, without having done anything wrong, he was dead and in hell. And you also know, it is rare for people to be asked the question, which puts them square. I do not care, la 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 la, you can't make me watch a stupid fucking thing. I can't hear you, la 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 la. Hey, I'm fulfilling my duties if you can hear me or not, Lola. It only matters if you're in the room. La. Anyways, I can't believe you threw his case. You complete monsters! And all to get into Apollyon's good graces. You're like the corrupt officials the news warns us about. Apollyon, she wouldn't have helped us if we didn't do what she said. Maybe she would have helped you anyway. Maybe she would have respected you. Maybe you're too dumb to realize you have to be able to beat the damn game even if you do the wrong thing. But you just sent an innocent man to an eternity of torment because you wanted out of that same terrible fate. Not cool, dude. Ugh. Okay, let's just motor through these quick facts of the night so far. You took a poor old witch's dress so you can sneak into a house of devilry. A couple thousand people died of preventable diseases, only 200 of which were by vampire. Wait, what? Currently, 8% of people enjoy chewing ice, only 15% of which realize it is a sign of behavioral disorder. Oh my god, will you shut this stupid thing off? Wait, 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 there's just, I think there's just like 28 more. Wormhorn. Remember when Lola went on top in the costume? Oh, everyone saw that coming, right? I mean, look at her. <laughs> she made Milo be the legs. Wormhorn? What's the matter with you guys? Don't you, don't you appreciate the amount of work I've put into this? Why would we appreciate this? All we care about is, is each other and just getting out, and this is not helping. All you care about is each other. No one cares about Wormhorn. Wouldn't it be nice if Wormhorn had someone to rub on her shoulders? You hit it right on the money, Mary. Absolutely nobody cares about you. People pay good money to get permanently rid of brain stains like you, okay? So if you think I'm gonna get sad because my irrational fear of tornadoes suddenly feels lonely, you are sadly, sadly mistaken, buddy. Wormhorn? Bye! <laughs> Christ. Let's get to Welkin Way before any more of Wormhorn's shit happens. Okay, Bantlings, you got your, uh, your passport stamped and everything, so... Looks like you're good to go. Satan will be happy to see you did it, probably. Um, will he be? Cause I kinda got the feeling that he didn't really want to do it. No, are you? Seriously? No. Using the loophole to let people out makes him feel like he's Harry fucking Tubman. He'll be thrilled to give you guys more than a participation trophy, trust me. Have fun, kids. I only got another mile away left on my, uh, my shift tonight. So if you wrap up fast, it was nice knowing you. Not that anyone can ever really know anyone, you know? Nice knowing you too, Sam. Your driving has been both a requirement, but also informative and pleasant. I only almost fell out like six or seven times. Yeah, I keep trying to get rid of those seatbelts, but it's like super glued in or something. But I guess that's it. And if Morningstar asks, uh, I wasn't your cabbie all night. Huh? Why would he care? Bye! Well, that's weird. Oh man, I just got another text from Eliza. She's referencing her clothes on our date. That cannot happen. I think she's talking about her underwear. I'm in too deep. What should I write back? Nothing. Just leave it alone now. I'm serious, Milo. Don't think I can't see your hands. Milo. <laughs> <sighs> Stop it. Wanna skip the hustle and bustle and head straight to Lucifer's? Satan's please. Alrighty. Two customers. Let's head up. I guess 
I suppose is. this. Uh, <laughs> you go first. I was just gonna say that this is the uh, the end of the line, I guess. And uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I should say I'm sorry for some reason. I don't necessarily know why, but I, I just feel sorry for how how things have gone. Yeah, I kind of weirdly feel the same way. So uh, sorry if I've been weird or anything. It's fine. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just let's just get home. Sister Mary Warnhorn, you know I don't uh, recall inviting you to the jungle gym. S Satan, it, it's a great honor. I imagine it would be for a creature such as yourself. You know, my father prided me on my confidence. He used to say, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed, which means doubt is for lesser beings. Personal demons are lesser beings. They make us lesser, so they are lesser. And this, <laughs> this is the time for confidence, for faith in things unseen but felt. Uh, it's also about time for you to die, isn't it, Mary? Wait, demons can, can die? Demons can't, uh, real demons anyway. But personal demons expire in the rays of a new day. Your traumas are your own. But how they express themselves gets refreshed every 24-hour cycle. Think of it as trimming the flower so new ones can grow. Okay, now everyone say, Goodbye, Warmhorn. Goodbye, Wormhorn. I would spend your last hour wisely. Yes, hell Satan. <sighs> well, I'm certainly apologetic about that. I'm sure you're anxious to get started on the drinking challenge. I see your parchment's all signed. I must say I didn't think you would make it at first. Wait, uh, Mr. Mr. Lucifer, I, I really... I can't do this without Lola. Oh, I can understand that. Though I would uh, perhaps at least question a person's loyalty, you know. Someone who would leave you alone on the breach, but... I'd think about it. I wouldn't want to, uh, want to sway you. So... Let's just head up to the parlor. You can think it over. It was wonderful following you along on, on Bicker, watching you as you got those seals. It was very, um, you know, it was very, it was entertaining. It really was. I don't know what else to call it. I hope you didn't think it was busy. Wait, don't tell me we're out of gizzard, Jin. No, Trenobog, I'm here with Milo. He's doing the challenge. He made it. Uh, really? Yes, really. Now then, Milo, where is your team? Uh, I don't have a team, man. You didn't say anything about a team before. Well, I'm quite certain that I did, but even if I didn't, a tennis player is to know the rules before heading to court, I suspect. You see, these are my friends. Hiya. And now you need to acquire yours. It's a team competition, as all good drinking games are. Now Morgan's six months sober. So you only need three, not including yourself. Which shouldn't be too hard, especially for an industrious man like yourself. What is the crap am I supposed to just find three friends? It's like I know anybody. Well, you know, I'm sorry. If you've spent the entire evening out in the throng and haven't a single number to show for it. I'm sorry if people have presented themselves vainglorious. I'm sorry that every friendship is built on biological impulse and a fear of being stabbed in the side. But that's the way it is. I'm just a custodian, after all. Come back when you're ready. I'll be waiting. <laughs> See ya.
going back down. 